Earlier this year, I obtained an infernal cape, a goal I used to laugh about when people would ask if I'd ever do it. To this day, my biggest gaming achievement, but also my biggest headache. Come on! <laughs> Grinding felt pointless on the main. The passion, enthusiasm, and dedication I had to obtain the infernal cape couldn't be replicated on this account, and I knew it. I've got a fucking infernal cape. I've got a fucking infernal. Yes! Come on! I know it's not big for a lot of you, and I know it's been out for years, but I'm just, I just can't believe I've got one. Oh my god. There was only one solution, and it was time to set a goal that would push me to my limit and fuel that passion again. It was time to create an Iron Man, and not rest until I'd killed every boss in the game. Zuck, Sol, Tob, Cox, Tearway, the little bunny in Priftonus, even you, Oborn, and everything in between. But before that, we have a long journey ahead of us that starts at level three. Here we go. The journey begins, and I'm so excited to get into this Iron Man grind. Let's finish up Tutorial Island and then jump into our plan. We're going to go from level three to Desert Treasure in this episode. This means nailing a load of quests early on to skip those slow, tedious levels. That is the first level on the account, level two fire making. I'm just going to get this up a little bit and then we're going to jump into some quests. All right, you're going to see a bombardment of quests here, but I just wanted to get all those levels out of the way. So there's Mr. The Mystery which will give us six crafting. We're having a big old boogie with the monks, but that is going to be monks friend completed. Giving us 2,000 woodcutting XP and some early law runes, which is nice. 13 woodcutting coming in. That is Hazil's cult completed, giving us 2,000 GP, which is very helpful at this point in the account, and 13 thieving as well. And you know, it wouldn't be an early game Iron Man without doing some Winter Todd at some point. So I've gone and cracked out 39 fire making and of course 35 wood cutting so that we're able to chop and light teak logs, which will be the best XP to get us to that 50 fire making we need for Winter Todd. Sheep herder done, four quest points and 3.1k. I couldn't say no. And while we're in the RD area, a quest I do on every PvP account. That is sea slug completed. It should give us 24 fishing. Those early fishing levels are horrible, so that is such a good quest to get out of the way. This is going to be tribal totem, giving us some swordfish and thieving XP. Level 26 coming in. That is X marks the spot completed. We do get an antique lamp, but we don't have a high enough herb law level to be able to use it. So I'm going to destroy it, and then I can get it back off Veos when we have higher herb law. This is going to be Gertrude's cat completed. I'm also trying to make sure I get a lot of the rest recipe for disaster stuff done so that when we come to having the quest points we can just bang it out um, but that's a kitten which i'll probably grow and sell for some death runes at some point along with 12 cooking my sentence to the winter prison is getting very very close i think that's the last one it is 50 fire making so we can now go to Winter Todd, and I'm either going to get 90 fire making or 99. I'm not sure which one. The supplies are just too good. I have to do it. And I want to complete Desert Treasure, and there's a possibility we get magic logs from Winter Todd, which would save me having to get 75 wood cutting for Desert Treasure. Just thought I'd quickly bang out Tower of Life because it's going to give us 15 construction, and that will mean we'll get more construction XP while fixing braziers in Winter Todd. Seemed like a no-brainer, so got it done. The first game of the grind. I've actually never done this at 10 HP, so this is quite interesting. Very chill, to be honest. I am going to be fletching. I think I've brought a little bit too much food as well, so we'll probably fix that in the latter games. But yeah, let's do this. There we go. First game completed, and we get a combat task as well. Two points for that. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, banana tree seed. I guess that will help for farming at some point. Yo, we just got a broom of torch and two mahogany seeds as well, which would be really nice farming XP. But uh, yeah, it doesn't count towards the set or anything, but it is an infinite light source. So that's pretty cool. 8kc and we get the warm gloves. Unfortunately, it's again not a piece that actually gives us bonus XP. It's more just cosmetic. 50 wood cutting coming in. Oh my god, finally, 191kc to get my first piece that actually gives XP. We get the garb. Oh, that is, that's, that's been painful, I'll tell you that. But we do have a cash stack of over 400k. The bank's at 1.66 mil. We have 87 fire making and 57 wood cutting. E, that's the pyromancer head. Second piece, we're getting very close to 90 fire making. I think we might stop there, guys. I'm not going to lie. There it is, 90 fire making. That is where I'm going to stop. 
I'm not burnt, but I do want to go and do some other stuff. We also got 59 woodcutting. Unfortunately, no magic logs, so I've sort of accepted I'm going to need to get 75 woodcutting to complete Desert Treasure, which at some point I'm going to need anyway. So we'll probably just do the 75 woodcutting grind. I don't think we'll come back here for the foreseeable future. So goodbye, Winter Todd. Okay, so I've got to start thinking about how I'm going to make money, and I think blackjacking is going to be the way. The goal is going to be 50 thieving, but I'm also going to need 50 agility because I want the rogue's outfit to get double the loot when we're blackjacking. So we're going to start here at the fruit stalls, then do some quests and stuff, and then hopefully have that 50 soon. All right, that's 42 thieving, which with some questing and stuff should be enough to get me to 45. And with 45, we can start blackjacking. I had to think about it, and I don't really fancy doing blackjacking with 10 HP. So I'm doing the witch's house quest here, a bit of inferno training as well. So that will come in handy later on. There we go, quest completed, taking us to 24 HP. Massive boost. And while I was right next to it, I thought I'd do Druidic Ritual as well, because I know later on I'll be wanting to do Herblore, and I'll go, fuck, I haven't done it. So there we go. And we just nailed the tourist trap as well. I'm chucking both of the XP rewards into agility because that early agility grind is so slow. And this is going to take us to 26. Nice. And we do need that 50 for the rogue's outfit. And that means I can complete the feud, which should, if my calculations are correct, get me to the 45 thieving I need to start blackjacking, which will become the best XP we can do. There we go. 15,000 XP. We also get a blackjack as well, which is nice. And it is 45 thieving. We can now do the uh, bearded bandits. I'm getting like 70k XP an hour right now, which is ridiculous seeing as we only have 65k XP total. There it is. That took like 20 minutes. That was mad. Just shy of a 400k cash stack now. I decided to do some semi AFK stuff and I chose Tempros. There's 50 fishing coming in. All right, let's uh, see what we get from these 22 rewards. We are going to get back to the thieving and agility grind and stuff, but I thought I'd just take a little break from it. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get lucky. I really want the fish barrel. Ooh, there's a casket. We get a new collection log for the spirit flakes. All of this is going to be really nice for, like, construction and cooking XP as well. So this is not bad for the account at all. No! <laughs> Tackle box. <laughs> Oh, no. I want the fish barrel, bro. All right. I know I said I'd get back to the agility and grind and all that, but oh, I don't know. I just really want to get the fish barrel now. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. No way. What is the timing of that? We got it. I've still got like 80 um, reward searches left. No way. Oh, my. Okay. Spoon die amount account. Spoon die amount account. Oh, I'm so happy. That means I can AFK fishing so hard now. I've had a little think about it, and I know I keep saying this. We will get back to the thieving and agility, but I think my AFK activity is going to be barb fishing. And if I'm going to be doing a load of AFK barb fishing, I do want the anger outfit. So I'm going to go for the anger outfit now because we've got the fish barrel, and then we will go back to thieving and agility. All right, our first search. Are we going to get lucky? No, we're not. Hey, that's our first piece at 12kc, the angler hat. Nice. A massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Don't let recipe boredom keep you from reaching your goals. HelloFresh have over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. And you'll even get breakfast free for life when you try HelloFresh. HelloFresh also lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week. So if you're going to be out the country or on a business trip or something, you could just cancel it for the week so that you don't waste a box and waste your money. And as seasons change, so do their menus. They make sure they use peak ingredients for that season to give you the best flavored meals. Each box is fully customizable to fit your preference and includes pre-portioned ingredients so you only pay for what you need. I love HelloFresh because it's just so easy. The exact portions I need are delivered to my door. I don't have to think about recipes. I can just browse through their menu and go, that sounds nice, and boom, it's with me in the next few days. I also really like the packaging. There's very little excess like plastic and bags and stuff like that that fill up your trash. So if you want to help support the channel, go to the link in the description and use my code Ocarina Oct 10 and you'll receive 10 free meals plus breakfast for life. You can also scan the QR code on screen. Oh yes, thank you very much. We got the angler waders. Nice. There we go. We got the bad boys on. I'm back on the uh PC now. I'm back in England. So, I'm not actually sure how many games I've done. I've done 16 
to get this one piece. I want to say I did maybe like eight or nine to get the hat. So I've probably done like 25, 26 games, something like that. Yes, there is the angler top. I think I'm about 60 to 65 KC, something like that. So if we can get the last piece or the boots in the next few games, I'll take that. I'll take it. Yes. We are free from fishing trawler. Incredible. That was about 75, maybe 80 games, somewhere around there. Uh, if we grab the last bit out, there we go. We have a full angler on, which is unreal. And the fish barrel from earlier. While I'm here, I'm also going to do the diary step, which is just uh, get one of these swords checked. Okay, so now that I've got the angler outfit, the fish barrel, uh, I'm going to get myself some combat stats because I would really like to be able to just AFK some barbarian fishing. Uh, and I need 15 strength for that. And rather than just train these stats up, I might as well do like fight arena and tree known village and stuff like that. So yeah, just going to nail out a few of these quests. There we go. That's fight arena completed. 29 attack coming in. There's tree known village completed. We get 11,000 attack XP taking us to 35. And there we go. That's waterfall quest completed. Completed, giving us 30 strength so we can start doing some barbarian fishing. Uh, we get a load of other stuff as well. There's 40 attack coming in so we can now use rune weaponry, which is unreal. All right, I'm going to go and do some barbarian fishing for quite a while now. Um, and I'm going to see how AFK this is. I've never had a fish barrel before, even though I've tried to get it on several accounts. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'll be using it, so that'd be cool. Okay, so my plan here is I'm going to use Mount Quidamortem because there's a bank right here, which means I can just have a full inventory, uh, fill the fish barrel, do another inventory, and then just bank quickly. Um, and there's no real downtime. Also, these guys I could cut and get some cooking XP from. And also, if I get row and caviar from cutting them, I could use that in herbal supplies later on in the account. So there's a little bit of banked herb lore, banked cooking um, by doing this method. So yeah, this should be fairly AFK. And uh, I'm going to go for 50 agility. So we'll be here for a while. That is 60 fishing coming in, which means we can now catch mesil fish. So I've done like eight hours of fishing today or something and just realized I should have had the kitten out because there are quests that require you to have a cat or at least a cat makes it better. Um, and yeah, I could have had a fully grown cat by now if I thought about that. The they can eat them, right? Oh, nothing interesting. Okay, I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad now. Okay, so they can't eat these leaping versions, whatever. Um, and then my second point is I was thinking I might just go to 68 fishing and 41 agility here. And I might go and do priest in peril so that we can go and do the uh, canopus rooftop because I would like to start working towards graceful. Um, and, you know, canopus is really good for that. So, yeah, I am tempted to just get these last two levels here. We'll also get a strength level as well uh, and then go and do that. I've I actually decided to do some three tick barb fishing here and I've never really done it before um, but the visual metronome is really helping I'm just clicking every time it hits a one in fact I'm even able to sort of commentate while doing it just shows how easy it's become actually uh, there's 68 uh, fishing which actually lets us go into the uh, fishing guild as well which is actually something that I didn't know I was going to get so that's 68 fishing and 41 agility I am going to do the grand tree and I'm also going to do priest in peril so let's go ahead and do that all right this is going to be the grand tree completed 18,000 attack xp 7,900 agility xp that's why I did this quest just give us a little boot boost in the agility we also get a couple of magic levels i believe here as well 43 agility nice 44 attack 26 magic and 35 combat coming in very nice all right priest in peril and then some agility training and this is super helpful as well because we now can use the tree transportation we can also use the gliders as well so just a couple just from doing that quest a couple of ways of getting around the map have been unlocked which is really nice all right there we go priest in peril completed 1400 prayer xp uh, and the Wolfbane Dagger as well, which is going to give a little prayer bonus. I don't know if I'll use that or not, um, but plus five prayer is pretty nice. And that should give us a prayer level as well. 15 prayer coming in. But yeah, now we can go ahead and get 50 agility because once we have 50 agility and 50 thieving, then I can get the rogues outfit, which is going to be really helpful for making a load of money. I want to make like a million GP pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. There we go. That is 50 agility. So we can now grab ourselves the rogue outfit. 
outfit. So we're going to head on over to Burthorpe now. We've also got 53 marks of grace. What I'm going to do is buy some graceful gloves with that. Because uh, we nearly have enough to get a graceful hood as well. And I'd like to get two pieces rather than just buy one expensive piece. So yeah. Let's go over to Burthorpe. Oh, and my cat just grew. Fuck me. It's all happening in the same clip. Unreal. All right, so we're going to get the Graceful Gloves. There we go, that's a new collection log slot as well. Um, and then I'm going to save up for the hood next, which is 35, so 12 more. All right, let's do this. Um, hopefully, we don't get two shafters on the RNG. All right, here we go. The first attempt. Come on, give us that first one instantly. No. And then while I'm waiting for my run to come back, I'm just going to cook a load of food because we've got so much food in here. Look at this. Um, I think the swordfish actually I've got loads. Yeah, 700 swordfish to cook as well So yeah, we've got like a mad amount of stuff that we can uh, get on with and we're starting at level 48 We're about to get 49 though. There we go attempt number two I don't know when it's meant to pop up in your inventory if you get it. Is it now? Nope All right attempt number three Come on. Give me that. Give me it Give me it. Come oh, on. All right, attempt number four. Fuck's sake, man. So because I'm not getting any pieces, I'm going to start using some strange fruit that I got earlier while um, doing some thieving because this will restore my run. It's taking too long. If I'd had like one or two pieces by now, I'd be happy to be cooking in between, but... I am, uh, yeah, I'm probably like 40 minutes into this right now because of all the cooking and the waiting and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm getting impatient. Attempt number five. Come on, this time, surely. I, I hate this RNG bullshit. Attempt number six. Come on. Oh, that, no. No, 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 no. A seven, I believe. Attempt number eight. That's a fail again, isn't it? I'm going to fucking bed. Fuck this. Right, it's a new day. Um, I think I did eight yesterday without any pieces. So let's see if today is going to bring me more luck. Oh, <laughs> no. Fuck. So these are just like, you can just turn them into like a tool once and then they disappear forever. I don't know, maybe they've got some niche use later on in the account, but for now, that can go in the bank. Right, here we go. So, number 10 with no piece so far. Ridiculous. Come on. I, I'm, yeah. Thought a cheeky little sleep would uh, make me less annoyed by all this, but it's not. All right, number 11. I, I mean, this is insane, right? Like, this is not normal. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Here we go, number 12. Fuck off, man. I'm not even sure anymore. 12 or 13. I'm, I, like... Ah. Fucking like the video. At least drop a like. I, I need a like to fucking make me feel better here. Jesus. I must have been doing this for, like, two, three hours now. Right, number 14 I'm going with here. Come on. I'm... I'm... <sighs> Alright, number 15. This is going to be it. I can feel it. Actually, wait. I read something that, like, wait for this to come back. So I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. And if that works, we're doing it for every single fucking crack. Do you, like, not regen stats in here? I've been sat here for way longer than a minute. Maybe you don't regen stats. Okay, well... Come on. I'm... I, I'm being tested. I'm being tested. This fucking RNG better swing around for something else. I'm not even going to count anymore. I don't care. Just give me kits. Not kits. The, the boxes. Fuck. Alright, if I don't get an item here, you have to subscribe. That's that's it. I guess that's an item, so you you technically don't have to subscribe. Oh my god. 
We got one. We got one. Yes. Right. A piece of rogue equipment, please. And we'll just go from the top down to the bottom. <sighs> Finally. Finally. Collection log slot. Thank you. I think I, I wasn't counting, but I want to say it was like 16, 17. The wiki says at my level, you should complete the outfit in about 13. So, yeah, should have... Should have completed the outfit about three ago, but that's the way it goes. Surely we get the back-to-back. -back. Surely that's what happens here. No. Yes, there's another piece. Unreal. Just got a whole agility level from uh, doing this. Yes, that's our third one. We will grab the trousers. Two more to go. There we go. There's another piece. We just need one more now. The gloves. Unreal. Yes, it's done. <sighs> Unreal. I want to say that took 20 to 25, somewhere around there. Let's just open this up. Take the gloves. Boom. New collection dog slot. And that is everything we need. There we go. Full rogues. So for those of you who don't know, this gives a 100% chance of getting double loot from standard pickpocketing. So anything we pickpocket now will get double, which is really nice when we go for like blood shards and elven crystals and of course making money. So we're going to go and do that now. All right, we're just now going to go ahead and pickpocket to like over a million GP. I just want to get myself, yeah, a decent amount. Um, while I was staying at Mugkips in Vegas, he told me that if you have a full inventory, it helps. I don't know if he was talking shit or not. So I've gone for wines over all the salmons and trouts I just cooked because he was adamant that you want a full inventory when you're doing this. So Mudkip, you've either fucked me over or uh, you've given me a very good tip. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section. All right. This is going to be 60 thieving coming in. There we go. Very nice. So six more levels and then we can start doing Menafite thugs, which is going to be way better XP, like 200k XP an hour. Currently, I'm getting like 100k XP an hour doing these guys. Uh, cash tax at 563k as well. I do want to go for a million GP, so that's sort of the goal. Don't really have a level goal. It's more get a million GP because I'm going to start spending some money um, in the next few steps. All right, here we go. This is going to be 65 thieving coming in. There we go. Lovely. 758k as well. So we are getting close to that million GP, but... The main thing about that is we can now move on to Menafite Thugs, which are going to be way better XP, like double the XP um, and better GP per hour as well. So uh, yeah, I'll find myself a free world and we'll go for this. Here we go. We're actually uh, very, very close to 70 thieving, 1,800 XP away. So I'm just going to get 70 thieving as well, I think. We're going to get the million GP first. I don't really know at this point, to be honest. Yeah, I think we will get the million GP, but it's literally like almost perfectly on the same tick. There's the million GP. And then just a couple more of these should get us what we need. Boom. 70 thieving coming in as well. Uh, we can now pickpocket from paladins, which is unreal. And I'm sure I unlocked a load of like quests that have like thieving requirements. I don't really know if there's anything that has higher than 70 thieving for a requirement. So the highest requirement is 72 thieving uh, to get the quest point cape. So we could probably just boost that. So yeah, that's uh, really nice to get that knocked out. And then obviously have a million GP as well to go and spend uh, on some runes is what we're going to go spend it on to start with. All right, I'm now going to go ahead and buy a load of runes because we're going to do the mage training arena because our magic is so low at the moment. Completing that and getting Bones to Peaches unlocked, not only is it useful having Bones to Peaches for like God Wars and stuff like that, but also we need it for the Lumbridge Diary. Um, and on top of that, it's going to give me so much magic XP. We'll probably go through the roof. I don't know. We might have like 40 plus magic by the time it's done. So yeah. All right. So the first one I'm going to do is the graveyard. Probably the most annoying, to be honest. That is going to be the graveyard completed. Needed 211 because we're going to buy some stuff on the side as well. But yeah, there we go. That's graveyard done. And after that, we're already at 39 magic. So we're going to be well over, maybe even in the 50s. We might we might unlock High Alk doing this. That is the telekinetic room done. Um, and I'm at 48 magic here. That is 55 magic, which unlocks High Alk, which is such a nice thing to just get passively on the account. 
Um, we've got a little bit more of this to do, and then I am done ski. I fucking hate this room. I think I actually hate this room the most. This is just so boring. There we go. That is the alchemy room done. Um, and we are literally 90 XP away from 56 magic. So we're going to go do the enchanting room now. Okay, that is everything we need to do. If we grab out a wizard mind bomb now, and we drink this we'll go up to 60 magic which then allows me to do bones to peaches because you need 60 magic boom lovely there is a new collection of slot as well bones to peaches we're also going to get ourselves a mud rune and then 10 mist runes just because we need these later on in the progress so if we go ahead drink this with a mind bomb and cast bones to peaches boom that is a hard task in the uh, lumbridge and drain area We've also got enough quest points to get into the Champions Guild now, and I've realized I'm still using the Addy Scimitar. Uh, so I'm going to get myself a Rune Sword. That is Dig Site completed, which is going to give us a load of levels. 32 mining. I think I was like 11 or something. Uh, and then 17 Herbal as well. We started the quest with 10, so that is very nice. And that is Elemental Workshop completed, giving us 27 crafting and 35 smithing. Nice. Just quickly done the quiz for the Natural History, uh, just so that we could get the 9 Hunter and 9 Slayer. All right, that's Cook's Assistant done, which means we can start Recipe for Disaster and start thinking about those Barrow's Gloves. And that is the, like, secondary cook's assistant thing so that we can get into the door and actually fully start Recipe for Disaster. That is the giant dwarf completed. I've got so much XP there. 33 mining coming in, 36 smithing, 33 crafting. That is Elemental Workshop 2 done because I want to get some crafting XP now and 46 lets us start making unpowered orbs. That is Nature Spirit completed. 28 hit points coming in and 17 defense as well. And that's Shades of Morton completed as well, giving us some Herblore XP. Very nice. And that's Miley's Crystal completed. All right, this is going to be the freeing a pirate peat part of Recipe for Disaster. And that is the Fremnic Trials completed. We get 23 defense there, 31 hit points, and a new combat level. And then we've got another couple ones to finish here in Recipe for Disaster. There is the Mountain Dwarf one. And then if we use this, there's 13 Slayer coming in. Nice. And then if we use the Slop of Compromise on these guys, that is another one done. And that's level 9 farming coming in. And we could treat ourselves to some steel gloves now as well, which is like fours in everything uh, except for magic, which is lovely. That is Lost City completed. There's Vampire Slayer completed. That is the Lost Tribe completed. And that is Bone Voyage completed, which is a big old quest because we can now start doing the birdhouse runs, which is going to help with the hunter. I do plan to use this a lot, so I brought everything to build the bank chest. So before we get these birdhouse runs set up, what I'm going to do is unlock the mushroom teleportation system. Just makes doing the birdhouses way easier. Um, so we just got to go and touch all the mushrooms around the area. All right, there we go. So we can start setting up these birdhouses now. We're just starting with the literally log versions, which aren't going to be great. And boom, that is the birdhouses all set up. All right, this is going to be Death Plateau completed which is going to give us access to uh, climbing boots, which is the main reason we've done this. We're also going to go ahead and start Troll Stronghold, seeing as we're here anyway. And we got ourselves 46 attack there as well. And that is Troll Stronghold done, giving us a law talisman. All right, that's uh, Shadow of the Storm completed. I'm going to put everything into ranged here because we're currently level 1 range. Takes us to 27 range without doing anything at all. Very, very nice. This is going to be Fairy Tale Part 1 completed, and then we're going to go ahead and do Part 2 straight after so that we get access to Fairy Rings, because that is going to make getting around so much easier. Should get some decent levels here as well. 20 farming coming in, uh, 58 magic as well. Very, very nice. All right, that should be Fairy Rings unlocked. I'm just testing it now. It is beautiful. Okay, so I'm not going to finish Fairy Tale Part 2 right now, um, but we've got them unlocked. That's all that matters. That is Holy Grail done, which is going to give us a load of prayer levels here. 30 coming in and 35 defense as well. Uh, it's going to take us to 49 combat. Lovely. That is Mountain Daughter completed, which is going to give us 31 prayer there. So we just finished the mini quest to uh, get the Soul Bearer. And for those of you who don't know what this is, any unsold heads that we get 
they get sent to our bank instantly. Um, this is going to be so helpful for prayer on the account. So this was a really important quest to get done. Um, but yeah, we do have to charge it with one blood rune and one soul rune. That is the Garden of Death completely giving us 10,000 farming XP. Taking us to 30 farming. So throughout all the Winter Todd questing and stuff, we just passively got 60 wood cutting. I haven't really done much wood cutting at all. Uh, but it means we can get into the wood cutting guild here. So I'm just going to buy a rune axe. Um, with blackjacking and stuff, we can make money so quickly that this is just quicker than getting them from spirit trees. Um, and talking of that, the money is running a little bit low. So I might go back and do some more blackjacking uh, soonish. But for now, we're going to grab this rune axe from Perry here. Thank you very much. So I'm going to do some AFK now. I'm going to get my wood cutting up to 70 because we need that for Song of the Elves. Um, I have thought about getting 35 farming and then planting teak trees over on Fossil Island because that's quite close to a bank. Um, my method right now is these two and then I'm using the uh, fairy ring to go to the Chasm of Fire. Because as you can see, the Chasm of Fire fairy ring is literally right by a bank. It's not too bad. Um, and I'd have to wait for the teak trees to grow, which takes like two days or something anyway. So I think I will do this, but I probably will plant the teak trees as well, um, just so I've got them. And the reason I'm not just like fire making or dropping these are because, you know, they're valuable construction XP. I definitely want to bank as many uh, teak logs as possible to make teak planks and then we can get this bad boy up. Making sure I'm doing my birdhouse runs in between the wood cutting as well. And this is going to be a very special level. We're going to get 27 hunter here. But the main thing I'm thinking about here is a thousand total level. So let's go ahead and grab that. 27 hunters coming in and a thousand total level. Uh, let's see how long we've been playing for. Four days, 20 hours. I'll take that. I'll take that. We haven't gone for like an optimal route of getting a thousand total either. Like I'd say the skills we have are pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, there's a thousand total. That is 65 wood cutting. So I'm going to move on to the Salicet mushrooms now on Fossil Island because they're like 100k XP an hour apparently. All right, we are here at the Salicet. Um, I've never done this before, but I'm quite enjoying it. As you can see, we're getting Numulite, we're getting fossils, we're also getting Mortmire fungus, which would be good for herb lore. Uh, we're also getting the caps, which we can turn into mushroom pies, and they'll give us a four crafting boost which is nice. So yeah, all in all, pretty cool. Uh, I'm getting like 80k XP an hour as well, so it's not bad. This is going to be 70 woodcutting coming in. I'm currently filming a PvP, so I'm just AFKing some U's. Um, I'm going to need 75 woodcutting though, because I want to do Desert Treasure and you need magic logs for that. I could either get my hunter up, go back to Winter Todd, or get 75 woodcutting. They're the three options, really. I was hoping during that, I would get 70, but there you go. There is 70 coming in. Beautiful stuff. All right, here we go, guys. This is going to be 75 woodcutting coming in. I've actually done the last two levels, two tick teaking, which is nuts because like I've never done this before. I've quite enjoyed it, and it's a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, I'm even able to like talk while doing it now, and I don't have the metronome on anymore. There we go, 75 coming in, unreal stuff. Oh man, that was good. 75 there, uh, taking us to 1037 total level. I am going to go do a birdhouse run and then we're going to head on over to the uh, woodcutting guild to grab ourselves the 16 magic logs we're going to need for everything. All right, here we go. As I say, I need 16 for all the quests that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll just film the first one. I don't know if this is going to be like a achievement or anything. I'm not 100% sure. I also um, have some eggs that I got from birdhouse runs. So we're going to go use those down at the uh, the altar thing down there, the shrine. There we go. Uh, there we go. First magic log. All right, there we go, guys. That is the 16 magic logs that we need for all the quests, specifically 12 for Desert Treasure. That's the main one that we uh, we wanted 12 for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use these eggs here, as I said, see if we get any... Oh, there's a prayer level. Uh, any... And a combat level. Uh, any evil chicken pieces. It doesn't look like it. No, I didn't expect it anyway. See if we get some cool seeds here. No, nothing too good, but we'll take it. This is adding to the birdhouse collection though, which is growing very, very nicely when we want to make some Sara brews later on in the account. 1.1 mil worth of uh, bird's nests already. All right, back to a load of questing. We're doing a load of multi-questing at the moment. We've got so many on the go. Like every single quest here, I've like done 
at least two or three steps in. Uh, and we're going to start some more. I'm going to go ahead and start Monkey Madness 1. We're going to do Eyes of Gluffery, which does require magic logs. Uh, so yeah, we've just got so much going on at the moment, but very soon we're just going to bash through all of this and have a disgusting amount of quests done. Uh, we'll probably get very close to getting 100 quests completed. That is Forgettable Tale completed. That's going to give us some farming levels. 33 farming coming in. Very nice. And 58 cooking as well. We've also got a couple of mature dwarven stouts, which I might save for some point. Um, we get a 2 plus boost in mining and smithing, so these might come in handy at some point. That is Romeo and Juliet. Five quest points taking us to 124. Plague City completed, which means we can now teleport to Ardy. 44 mining coming in, and we just read that scroll, and that lets us tell E to Ardy now. Just doing some tasks here and there, and we just completed the Lumbridge and Draenor Easy uh, achievement diary. So there's another one we can go and claim. Taking a slight break from questing, we're going to do some Tybo One Eye cleanup. Uh, we're going to try and get ourselves a gout tuber for the medium diary. There we go, there is the gout tuber. I thought it was a collection log, but apparently not. That is biohazard completed, so we can start the whole like elven line now. Just doing some cooking quick, and this is going to be 60 cooking coming in, which allows us to make mushroom pies, which is what we were doing earlier with the uh, saliceps, which means we can now use the pies to boost our crafting and stuff which will be really helpful. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a strength ammy here. Just doing a birdhouse run, and that is 50 hunter coming in, which is nice. It means we can now catch eclectic implings, which at some point we'll probably do for the medium clues. I've got so many fossils from doing the salicep wood cutting that I am just trading them all in now, as you can see. We're just getting loads of antique lamps. Just gone from 28 to 34 herb lore. I'm going to do all of them, and then I'll put all the lamps in, and we'll see where we end up. So we started at 28. Let's just keep going. Oh, my God. We're going we're gonna to go past 40 here. Yeah? 38. There's 39. 40 herb lore coming in from 28. That is insane. Oh, I'm so happy that I did the uh, the Salicet. That's unreal because we can now make prayer potions at 38. So we can start getting those together. Oh, I'm so happy. So I'm just doing Garden of Tranquility and I've just got to wait for the plants to all grow at the end of the quest. So while that's happening, I thought I'd go and complete some of the achievement diaries. So that's the Lumbridge one done now. Uh, we've also got the Fremnik one done and the Varrock one. So I'm going to go ahead and start claiming some of these. So here's the Lumbridge one. Boom. We get ourselves the Explorer Ring, which gives us a prayer bonus and also gives us energy and alchemy. And you know where this is going. Straight into Herblore. There's another 2.5k. Take us to 41 Herblore, very nice. And this is going to be the Varrock one. Again, we're going with the Herblore XP. And that is the Fremnik one as well. This is going to take us to 42 Herblore. And the last one for now, we have the Kandarin Diary done as well, the easy. And of course, Herblore again. That's taken us very close to 43 Herblore. There we go, that is Garden of Tranquility done. 5,000 farming XP coming in, which should give us 36. Very nice. Um, the reason I wanted this was now that we're over 35, we can plant teak trees. So we're going to go over to Fossil Island. I've got a birdhouse to do anyway. Um, and then we're going to plant some teak trees over there. This is going to be Eidgar's Ruse completed. Giving us 11,000 Herbal XP and the Troll Home. Teleport spell taking us all the way to 44 Herblore. We are absolutely smashing the Herblore levels at the moment. Uh, not far off 45 either, which is super attack potions, I believe. Yeah, super attack potions at 45, which would be nice. I'm just doing some AFK range training right now, but I've been thinking about what I want to go for next, and I think protection prayers are probably the thing we need to do because we're starting to get into quests now where I'm going to have to start killing things that are higher level. So I'm going to go pick up big bones in Shazian, and then we're going to use them on the Wildy Altar. All right, that should be enough. I'm using the banked XP uh, plugin here. 
So as you can see, it says I've got 42. But if we go ahead and refresh this, we do have 43 banked now. Uh, that's going off the dragon bones, the big bones, and some of the insult heads that I've got as well. I've got about 2,000 XP excess. So as long as the wildy altar isn't completely horrible to us, that should be enough. So uh, yeah, let's start running. All right, here we go. This is the most important inventory because I've got the dragon bones with me. They just took so long to get. I really think it would have been slower doing dragon bone to go. We should fly through some levels here. We're going to just miss out on getting the first protection prayer by literally 63 XP. Here we go. That is protect from magic, which I'm just going to have up now just in case anyone logs in like that. There is protect from range. All right. So we are 1,800 XP away from getting that final protection prayer protect from melee i'm just gonna do it with the archaea spellbook here so just gonna reanimate these heads and then every giant kill we get is gonna give us 650 xp still pushing towards that 40 defense i know quests will probably get me over like i could go do dragon slayer one now and i'd probably get like 45 defense but yeah i'm just gonna see if i can passively get it there we go 43 prayer coming in we can now use protect from mellow so that is all three unlocked which is sick that is going to be enlightened journey completed giving us some more transportation around the map we also get the cool bomber cap and bomber jacket as well don't know if we'll get any levels we do we get 39 farming so we can now make uh orange trees and yeah, I really like this outfit, actually. That is a Soul's Bane completed, and that should be 40 defense. There we go. Very nice. We can now wear rune armor. Still haven't done Dragon Slayer 1, so we can't get any uh, rune plate body on. But yeah, I'll probably do that soon-ish. That is the Watchtower completed. 15,000 magic XP. Uh, not quite getting a level, just shy of it, but that's all right. And then if we read this, we also get the uh, Watchtower uh, teleport unlocked right there, 58, which we can use. Um, which is just another teleport to add to the uh, roster. Just been AFKing some range while I filmed some PvP challenges, and we're up to 50 range now. That, like, went so quickly. Um, so that's really nice. Literally just been using the uh, the Dorkshin crossbow and a little bit of green dehyde. That is 10,000 herb lore and 5,000 farming XP coming in and a disease-free herb patch. Anytime we need a specific herb, we are coming here, and it cannot die. It's so amazing. Uh, let's see what we get. 40 farming coming in and 46 herb lore. Uh, not far off 41 farming there. Nice. All right, guys. This is going to be the RD diary completed. I'm currently in a call with old Kinos. How you doing? Hey, yo. You ready to fight? Bring me back to group god man days a little well, bit. Well, I've actually I've been making an Iron Man for weeks, then we fight. So you get your Iron Man here and we'll, we'll do it, yeah? So have I. We're about to fight like tomorrow. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> That is the Ardy Cloak 1, and the Antique Lamp, of course, is going into Herb Law, taking us to just shy of 47 Herb Law. Nice. This is going to be especially useful for using the Teleport. It takes us right here, and then we have a Fairy Ring just over here that we can use to get places, which is nice. So I'm thinking a little bit ahead here, but I'm going to do some Tithe Farm because I'd like to unlock the Herb Sack. For when we start slayer i don't think i'm going to do it all in one go but the passive farming xp will be helpful as well because there's some fruit trees and trees that i want to plant that i'm not quite the level to be able to do so uh, yeah we're starting with the lowest tier of seed here as well but we'll be able to use the next one pretty soon It'd be sick to have a herb sack to start slayer with you know just started doing my tree runs and that is 45 farming coming in which means we can now enter the farming guild just gradually getting this herb sack grind done that's 208 fruit i've just done giving us 9000 xp there taking us to 47 we can now grow watermelons which is very helpful because we'll use those for super compost and then we can put another in here and that will give us another level 48 Jango berry bushes nice we're up to 105 points i don't really know what happens with this if i leave do i lose these hmm is it gonna tell me deposit your fruit and sacks otherwise it will go rotten okay all right so we'll just put these in as well and we get two more points for that we need 250 for the herb sack. I'm also debating possibly getting auto weed. That's whether or not I can be bothered to go for the extra 50, but the herb sack is going to be the one. We do also need 58 herb lore to be able to use the herb sack, but it would be nice just to have it um, ready for when we do the slayer grind. 
I'm about to do my first like big tree run. Everything has grown that I planted. We got ourselves the hardwood trees here, the normal trees, and we've got fruit trees growing. So we're 48 farming right now. Let's see what we end up with after I've checked all of these. Also having teak trees here is gonna be really useful, especially when we get the 70 agility requirement to hop through this hole here. Um, we'll be able to bank the teaks really nicely. There is 7k XP per teak. <laughs> Incredible. That's going to be 50 farming coming in. And nice. And I just got a spory seed. That's collection log. Nice. That's 51 coming in. There's 52. There is 53. All right. That's going to be it. Just shy of 54. 54 was sort of my goal. But we're close enough that we'll be able to boost. When I do Thai farm now, I will get like nearly three times the XP I was getting previously. Um, so that'll be really, really nice. Um, and I'll just use garden pies to boost up so we can do it. Okay, it doesn't quite work how I thought. I thought once we were in, we could just use them. I actually have to have the level the whole time. So like I did a run, but now that my level's back down, I can't plant them. Thankfully, we're only 3k away. So I'm probably going to throw away a few points here. Um, but... Will this be enough? No! Okay, there we go. There's 54 farming, so I don't need to boost anymore. That's 55 farming coming in. And uh, 11k away from 56. We just completed the Varrock Medium Diary. So that's going to give us the upgraded Varrock Armor 2. And also an antique lamp, which we are going to chuck into Herblore. Giving us 47 Herblore coming in. Got to be close, yeah. Really close to 48. Uh, we can now make super attack mix. But we're just slowly working on this so that when we do unlock the herb sack, we'll be able to use it um, straight away. Okay, so I'm ironing up that recipe for disaster 70 cooking requirement. And I think the best way to do it, especially as we have the fish barrel, is to do crumb ones. So that's type 10 trio completed. And it just adds to another AFK activity I can do when I'm busy or something. And we'll slowly just bank 70 cooking through crumb ones. All right, guys, that is going to be the last Tithe farm I have to do. 21k XP, 62 farming. We can now uh, grow Snapdragons. We can also boost to get into the second tier of the farming guild. And we have enough points to buy the herb sack, but I don't have 58 herb lore yet. So we need to focus on that and we'll come back and grab that once we have 58. So this is how we're going to get our farming and herb lore up. We're going to boost and talk to Guildmaster Jane, and that will let us do medium farming contracts. The farming contracts gives us loads of seeds for just completing things like growing an iret, and that's what we've got to do. The only problem is I don't have any iret seeds, so we're going to go to the master farmer, see if we can get some iret seeds, and then we'll plant them. Hey, there we go, the iret seeds. Let's go and plant those bad boys. That took 442 to get. All right, we're going to do our first contract here. Let's go and pick the herbs. I've completed my farming contract. There we go. So get a seed pack. Would you like another one? Let's grab another one while we're here as well. A maple tree. I don't think I have any maple seeds at the moment. That is sad. Let's see, maybe we get a maple seed from here. Let's open these up. There's some ivies. Wild Bloods, Melon, we'll take those, uh, watermelon seeds will be useful. Uh, get some Oaks, some Woad, more Woad, oof. Yeah, not a great seed pack there, I'll be honest, guys. The uh, watermelon, probably the best. But I'm just going to be nailing these in the background of all my progress so that we can stock up on seeds, do herb runs, get the farming up. And hopefully, it's a long way down the line, but I've got 70 herb lore in mind for Song of the Elves, and I want to be, like, planting and getting enough for that. So, yeah, this is my way of doing it. All right, so I fished a load of cramp ones, and I've got 70 cooking banked, but I want to use the Hasidious range because we get less chance of burning, 5% less chance of burning throughout our grind to 70. So, to use that, I need to complete the Karend and Kebos uh, achievement diary. So, we're just going to go through all of these, and then we're going to go get 70 cooking. There we go. We get the Rada's Blessing 1. And we get the Antique Lamp, which is going into Herblore. This gives us a teleport to Krem Woodland. I think we only get one or three a day with this. So I won't use it right now. All right. So we're just going to take the Karamb ones out. And then we're going to cook here. So I actually burnt a lot of Karamb ones and only got to 65. I've still got some banked, but I am going to have to fish more. So I'm going to get on with that grind later on. But uh, I thought I'd just show you another farming contract. I probably won't show many after this. But hopefully we can get better than the first seed pack we opened. Because that was awful. What are we going to get? Libworts. Guams. Marantils. 
Harolanders, nice. Jagaberries, okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit better. All right, so I am gonna start Desert Treasure and the last thing I have to do is complete the Temple of Ikov. I have every skill other than that. I have every quest done other than that. So it's just the Temple of Ikov. And for this quest, you need a U-bow, but you can also cheese it. So you'd use a U-bow normally to fire the ice arrows, but there's like a workaround where you can just pick up ice arrows and use darts. And the game thinks you're using like the ice arrows because I guess you have them equipped, but you're using darts. So we don't have to get ourselves a U-bow together. So as it says here, he can only be hurt by ice arrows, but we're going to use darts. We are going to use darts to hurt him and hopefully we've got enough here. There we go. Very nice. Thank you. 10,500 range XP and 8,000 fletching XP coming in. Giving us 53 range and 50 fletching as well. Very nice. And that is everything we need for Desert Treasure 1. Every single thing done. Happy days. There's a recommendation of 70 combat, but we won't need that. Let's jump into it. Here we go, the start of Desert Treasure. This is going to be massive for getting those magic levels and Slayer levels once we're able to use the ancient magics for combat and stuff. Um, so yeah, big old quest. Let's start it. All right, we got the first boss to take on, which is Farid. Uh, I think he's going to unequip my Staff of Water, so I've brought Water Runes with me as well. Yeah, he has done, so we'll just use these because I don't have ice gloves on the account at the moment. I believe he can use magic as well, so he might be able to hit me with some magic, but we do have Kram ones with us, so we're all good. There we go. Very nice. We get ourselves the Smoke Diamond. One of four. All right, now we've got to try and get this chest open with a load of lockpicks, and we're going to get poisoned a lot. We're going to lose HP. Yay, we did it with five lockpickers to go. That's nice. Okay, the next one is Damis we've got to kill. Um, and we, what we want to do is we want to try and get a safe spot together here because his first form we could just protect melee from, but his second form he's going to drain our prayer. And we do not want that. I'm hoping when his second form spawns it doesn't just walk through the giant rat. We will see what happens here. Unreal stuff. Unreal. We are all good. Is that going to be it? There we go. I'm also going to kill the Shadow Hound because I'm pretty sure that's a diary task. So just going to quickly get him while he's safe spotted anyway. Hopefully the, the Shadow Diamond doesn't disappear. I think we should be all good. There we go. Yeah, that's a hard task in the Kandrin area. Beautiful. All right, let's take that. And we want to go to Canifis now. All right, next up, we've got Dessus, and we should be able to negate all damage here by flicking between um, range and melee every tick. And uh, something that helped me in the Inferno on the main was learning that when you're doing one tick flicking, as soon as the light goes out of the other side of, like, the prayer, you see, like, the, the yellow ring or the white ring, whatever you want to call it, as soon as that goes down, you just click the other prayer back on, and that's how you one tick really easily. I'm currently wasting prayer points, but, yeah. That, like, so many people talk about how difficult that is to do, and, like, they overcomplicate it. You just literally look for the lights. All right, so we can use that trick here. So we're going to use the pot, and then I just want to aggro him. Okay, Takes a bit of time. All right, so we want to aggro him, and then we want to just do this. And he's got a flaw in his mechanics that just makes him teleport constantly, as long as you do it correctly. So we should... I might need to use my prayer pot here, because I was showing off the uh, the flicking before. But we'll see. We'll see. Ah, we're doing a bit more damage now. There we go. Lovely. That is the third out of four diamonds. Just the ice diamond to go now. Just doing this method. I he, he can still hit me and stuff, but this just lets me, you know, rest every so often and not take constant hits. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. I've got only a bit of prayer left, though, which is the only problem. So, yeah, he has a chance to mage me as well, but most of the time he's just going to melee me, so we should negate that damage. There's a mage. One more hit. There we go. Thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I just got a Slayer level? That's wild. That's nuts. I'm on an Ice Warriors? Wow. Well, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. That is crazy. I might be like one of the only people to ever get a Slayer level there. That's... <laughs> that is nuts. This has an HP bar? What the... 
<laughs> I love old quests, man. Some of the stuff you, you see in this. I thought that would just be a one-hit thing, but no. Phew. And there we go. That's the last diamond we needed. So let's go and free the bloke and complete Desert Treasure. All right. With all the diamonds, we can start putting them in here. And then we've just got to go through the maze. And then we're done. Hopefully the maze doesn't give us too many issues. I haven't read this, but I have a feeling that if you, like, you click the map, you can't fall or something. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, so this is what we're up to here. I'm just conserving my run at the moment, but I might start running because I'm taking some desert heat. Yeah, go on then. We've got a few energy potions with us, so we'll uh, we'll go for some runs. All right, in we go. Yeah, I'm going to try clicking the map. I, I've just got a feeling that... That means you can't get, like, you can't, like, fall down through the floor. But, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. We'll see. And I instantly got thrown out. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. I actually don't have any more prayer potions at the moment. I could make some up, but I don't have any at the moment. So I don't really want to have this problem where I'm going to run out of prayer. The wiki says to click consistently, not click the ladder. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully... That saves me. Alright, it's that famous last corridor. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I thought I just got caught there. Oh my god. Uh, I've got... Dude, where are you going? I've got enough food to just tank it, I think. We are out of run. Come on. No. No. Oh my god, I thought I was getting caught again. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. That's it. That's it. Yes. Desert treasure one completed. On the Iron Man. Oh, unreal. That is 20,000 magic XP coming in. And of course, the ancient magics, which is going to be so helpful when we're doing Slayer tasks and we want to like burst or barrage. Um, and that is going to be 60 magic coming in as well. I also plan on using this lectern for a money making method in the future. So that's going to be pretty cool. And that's pretty much the last hurdle stopping us from completing Recipe for Disaster. So we can complete that in the next episode as well. Oh, it's going to be sick. If you're watching this video on the day of release, I'm live on Twitch right now continuing the progress. I'd really love you guys to stop in, come say hi and have a chat. I'll leave a link in the description that you can just click or go to twitch.tv slash links underscore ocarina. And if you're not watching this on day of release, drop a follow anyway, come over to Twitch. I might be live because I'm going to be streaming loads of this Iron Man progress there. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified about episode two. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you over on Twitch now.